Alrighty, guys, what is going on? I didn't get the chance to make the video yesterday or uh, right after Raw to talk about it, but a major return. Two major returns. Three if you count them is, but nobody does. My name is Tubby Emo. Twitch.tv and uh, Tubby... Uh, whatever, just just fucking follow me already. It's getting ridiculous. All right, here we go. Let's talk about John Cena and Bray Wyatt. Why are we talking about John Cena? I forgot. He buried him, right? No, I didn't because now Chris Jericho is working with Bray Wyatt. I think this is great. Uh, Chris Jericho last year wanted to work with Bray Wyatt. Uh, they were, you know, he was in some sort of a thing, and then he wanted to work with him at Mania, but he was working with Cena, and they had all that thing going on. But now Chris Jericho is back. On Monday night, we had the major return of a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, a cross-platform entertainer, who people were like, okay, it's going to be The Miz. It leaked that it was going to be Miz, and then it was rumored that it was Chris Jericho. And they're like, oh my God, it's Jericho. It's, oh my God, it's Jericho. And then The Miz comes out. And I'll be honest, I was pretty pissed off when The Miz came out. I was like, oh, really? They seriously did this? But then Miz had this... Uh, this, I, I wish they would have, and I think I saw Lance Storm's tweet about this, say, they really should have, like, changed his name to his full name and made him, like, a movie star. Like, if they are going to go the whole movie star thing, like, Mike Mazan and Mazanin, and he's here, and he was dressed in this white gimmick, and I actually, I hate to say this, because I don't like Miz that much. I was like, okay, I can, uh, I could get along with this. Uh, unfortunately, they dropped the line about him being a major movie star. I was like, dude, you were on a fucking straight-to-DVD movie that only made $3.5 million. The Rock pisses $3.5 million on, like, the first hour on release day. Like, calm the fuck down, Miz. I was like, really, Miz? But after that, Miz was dropping out. He should be on the main event. Everything that he's not going to leave until he gets what he wants. And then I was like, okay, Jericho's got to be coming out. And, yes, Chris Jericho did return. So technically, two former uh, WWE champions and uh, a big return. A lot of people uh, really weren't expecting Jericho. He's about to go on tour with Fozzie. He's still going to do both, apparently. And the interesting thing about Chris Jericho returning and that I, I was really excited about is Bray Wyatt coming out. And I was like, yes, they're doing Bray and Chris. And I honestly think, because I don't think that this is a lot of um, – a lot of people keep bitching like, oh, Chris Jericho's back just to put somebody over. But what's wrong with that? He comes back. He puts on great matches with guys. Everything makes sense. And I personally enjoy it. So I'm all for Chris Jericho coming back anytime I get to see him because Raw is Jericho, baby. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love him, dude. Uh, and then when the Wyatt family came out to beat him down, I was like, hell yeah. So we basically have four matches set for uh, SummerSlam. And then the the one that I was not expecting tonight at all after Money in the Bank, after Paige last night uh, on Sunday night retained her Divas Championship against Naomi, out comes AJ Lee. And I forgot, I'll be honest with you, I honest to God, when uh, they were talking in the ring and Paige was in the ring dropping her promo and Let's Light It Up hit, I forgot that was AJ Lee's theme song because we used to have been gone about three months now with the whole marriage thing and taking time off. And I was not expecting that to be AJ Lee. Like uh, for some reason I was like, Oh my God, is that uh whose music is that? And I was like, I look at the TV. I'm like, Oh fuck. That's, that's AJ Lee. So AJ Lee returned. And this basically sets up SummerSlam in a nutshell. We have Brock Lesnar versus John Cena pretty much in the bag. We can have Dean versus Seth Ambrose. Uh, Seth Ambrose, yes, we have we have uh, Seth and Ambrose. We have uh, Bray and Chris Jericho, Paige versus AJ Lee. Uh, we have a pretty good Roman versus Triple H if they go with it, and like that's what they were teasing, and I think they are going to go that route. We have a pretty good looking SummerSlam card, and a lot of people are like, "Fuck Cena's champion," I don't care. Like if Cena's champion, and and we get Bray versus Jericho, Paige versus AJ Lee. Uh, Roman versus Triple H, all these matches I've wanted. I'll let Cena be champion every every day of the, the year if I get matches like that because I honestly think they've built up a really good card for SummerSlam. So we have these two big returns that, one, I was kind of expecting. I was expecting it to be Jericho and then Miz came out. But AJ Lee, I was not really expecting. I, I was not expecting that route. I was like, okay, who's going to challenge for the Davis title? Okay, the Funkadactyls are going to break up. Now it's Cameron's turn to uh, go out and, and try to win the title. But then, no, WWE pulled this where she came out, and she did the same thing that uh, Paige did. 
Because I'll be honest, Paige's run so far has been meh because they haven't really let her do anything. And part of me had always wondered, like, are they not really letting her do anything? Are they keeping her matches down because they're going to they're gonna do something? And then they do. And I honestly, I've been seeing people talk about Trish versus Lita or, you know, another kind of feud that this could potentially be building towards as far as the Divas feud goes that could be that awesome. And I'd have to agree. I think this could be one of the best feuds, and this is absolutely the perfect thing for Paige. They've both got a victory up on each other now that's been a little like, eh. You know, they won on a, on a quick out of nowhere and then won on the roll-up pin. And it, it makes me wonder, like, how long these Divas are going to keep feuding for because I think they're the two top Divas in the division right now. Paige is awesome, even though the crowd hasn't really gotten behind her fully. She really is one of the top divas in the company, and she's a very good wrestler. She just has not been booked very well. And now that I see it, I, I kind of think, like, AJ Lee had some input, like, all right, you got to book everybody really shitty, though. You have to show how good I am and how important I am. And that makes me think about this and gets me all excited. I'm like, I honestly think these two divas are going to fight. I don't know if they're going to fight at Battleground just yet. Probably. But I think this is going to continue on to SummerSlam. And these divas are just going to put on a good show, and it's something I've wanted. It's something I'm excited for. I'm happy for. So I, I kind of want to know you guys' thoughts on this. Were you expecting Jericho to return, or were you expecting AJ Lee to return? I mean, the the ratings for the show were like a 4-1, a 4-2, and then a 4-4. So Cena in the main event, and part of that had to do, obviously, with the returns and everything. But you can't doubt John Cena raised the ratings uh, being champion. He really did. The last hour went up with him, and normally the, the last hour has been falling off. So it's a big thing for John Cena you know, to be in the main event and win. But also, they just had a really, really good Monday Night Raw. They really did. I mean, it was a solid show. They had the ending where Roman and Triple H stared off, and some people didn't like I enjoyed it personally. I thought it made sense. And then the whole Chris Jericho, AJ Lee thing just kind of stole the show for me because it, it was two returns I wasn't really expecting. They did a very good job of hiding it. And I think that's something they haven't been able to do in WWE in a while is keep the returns secret. And uh, I, I really, really did enjoy it, guys. I thought one of my favorite things about that was I was like, oh, my God, no, we're doing a Miz versus uh, Jericho feud. That was my first honest instinct was, oh, fucking A, we're doing Miz versus Jericho, really? Like, that's the guy he's going to come back to put over. And I was pretty disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh. I actually went to my TV and went, oh, no. Miz, really, out of all the guys he could help, out of all the guys he could make into something, he's going to do it to the Miz. And then they go the total swerve on us, and they bring out the Wyatt family to beat down Chris Jericho for no apparent reason. Like, the story that was talking about this when Chris Jericho finalized his deal to come back he apparently pitched something to WWE a few weeks ago. Uh, he hadn't heard from him in a couple weeks. And then uh, basically Creative on Friday called him up and said, okay, let's do it. And he flew in, and apparently he waited till the arena until about 5.30 until the people were kind of filing out of their seats or 4.30 here. That way, like, they wouldn't see him. And then he went in, and then he sat in the production truck for four hours. And then he talked with Miz and Wyatt for a little bit to kind of go over the plan. And I was like, that is awesome. That is Chris Jericho. And uh, gets me really, really excited to see where they go here. I think some people, I'm, I'm, most people, if you're a fan of Chris Jericho, whether he comes back just to help put people over or not, I think that's a horrible way to look at it in terms of how they book Chris Jericho and what they go with him. Because I'm seeing some people that are like legit just upset. They're like, he's back just to put somebody over. I don't care. Chris Jericho's back, baby. Like, he's back in the WWE. And uh, it gives me hope because our SummerSlam card right now is looking absolutely fantastic. And th these are built from matches that hopefully they do do these matches that have been going on, these have been feuds that have been carrying on a while. And it's something that we haven't been getting on pay-per-views lately. Like, we'll get these matches thrown together a week before the the pay-per-view. You know, Rusev Big E was building for a little bit. But other than that, I mean, most of these matches, the Rybacks or Stardust kind of just gets thrown together. I like the fact that our major, our second major pay-per-view of the year, even though I, I would consider Money in the Bank a major pay-per-view as well, is already shaping up, and it's looking really good. I think this is an absolutely good thing for WWE. I think it's something that is kind of a selling point going forward, and I hope they keep capitalizing on these major pay-per-views 
And, you know, they build these stories long term. I think that's the same thing I say when it comes to building Bray, Roman Reigns, all these other guys that you have to be patient. You have to, you know, be ready for the build. You have to, you know, not be wanting immediate gratification. And we're getting that now. I mean, look at Roman's build. I mean, Roman's been built up to be like a beast, and that's exactly what I want. He doesn't need the title, and uh, it just makes me all excited. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts are about Chris Jericho and AJ Lee return. Which one are you more surprised about? Which one are you more happy about that return? Do you have a personal uh, favorite or thought on that? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below because I think, honestly, AJ Lee surprised me way more than uh, Chris Jericho did. When AJ Lee came out, I'm not going to lie, I popped a bit. I was like, yeah, AJ Lee! Like, I was legitimately excited. So, until next time, guys, I want I really do want to thank you. And uh, make sure to follow me on the Twitch page, twitch.tv forward slash tubby more, twitter.com forward slash tubby more. You guys can uh, watch live streams and stuff. But you probably haven't been able to watch live streams and stuff because you don't follow me over there. If you're asking me why I've been streaming, it's because you're not following me. You're missing them. You're not, you're not paying attention to them. And uh, you miss those uh, great events over there. Although, I haven't really streamed in two weeks because I've been a little bit busy. So. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much. Bray Wyatt! Bray Wyatt, what the fuck? Not Bray! Not like that, Bray! Out of nowhere, Sister Abigail. I think it'll be a great feud. I can't wait to see what they do. And, uh, Codebreaker! It'll be a good feud, guys. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name is Toby Move. Make sure to follow me on those sites, and until next time, we will see you all later.